aircraft preparations complete. You're cleared to taxi. Spare Squadron, this mission needs to be quick. Target radar facilities and AA weaponry. They're set up on a rugged terrain, and there's a lot of cloud cover. You will be near thunderclouds. Man, you guys were born unlucky. Wait, who's the dumbass who came up with this batshit plan? Just obey orders. Air Force Base 444 Squadron, this is Cyclops 1. The Cyclops and Strider Squadrons currently contain seven aircraft. Stand by. We'll be arriving shortly. Understood. Low on ammunition. It'll be hard to take on hostiles. We'll have to rely on you guys to make it home. Cyclops 1, this is Bandog. We need the job done on time. Bandog? <laughs> cool name. Nice working with you, Mr. Guard Dog. The terrain makes the airstream bumpy. Don't damage those planes. Did they have a death wish? Spare 15, launching missile. Destruction of target facility is confirmed. Missile. Locked on target. Conference gonna slam us into the rock. Target down. It's blowing me off course. The regular forces secret reconnaissance plane is deep inside Arusia? They're investigating the ruins. That's all I know. You sure found out quick. They got a secret weapon, maybe? There's only so much I could find out. Enough talk. Any surface attacks in this weather? Give me a break, man. Man, I need missions that can help me improve my score on this crap.
Strider 4, bandit on your six. Help by getting in between them and the UAVs. I don't even have time to check radar. Cyclops 3, watch your ass. Fox 2. Bandit has a lock on me. Hostile has a lock. UAV down. Break it off. There are still five aircraft in the combat zone. Hostile behind me.
another one. Lone recon aircraft lost. What's with this guy? That's an Su-30. All spare squadron aircraft provide support for Cyclops and Strider. Keep the bandit off of them. Hang it. That's not possible. Get in there with that monster, Spare 15. We're gonna lose more friendlies. I just sent back the damaged craft. We only need guys we can use. Spare 15, spare 11, from an element to take up the rear. Forget it. Trigger's taking the beast head on. You two deal with support. So this is where tabloid bows out. Shit. Roger that. Will do. Soul 2, Soul 3. They've got two rear guard. The better one's mine. Copy that, King. Don't call me that. Got this one down to my sights. Nice. Bandit hit. Spare 15. Got him.
You pass the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Great work. Nice job in not ruining a good plane. Your work's still far from done. Stand by for further orders. The crew said the enemy had one mean son of a bitch flying for him. Our team had a few Air Force hot dogs, real experienced pilots. But this guy swooped in like a hawk, locked on, and took them all out in the blink of an eye. Reminds me of a story Gramps told me once. He said a little while before he retired from active duty, he saw an enemy fighter wipe out an entire formation right in front of him. It was like seeing how a shark works when it's going after its dinner. This enemy pilot stalked Gramps' pals from below, just like how a shark would. Then one by one, he put the bite on them. Sounds like what happened to our guys today. Kinda surprised so many made it back alive. I bet when they saw what was going on, they broke formation and left their buddies to the shark. Hang on. There's three extra planes here. They're foreigners too. Spare Squadron, this mission needs to be quick. You returned without permission and failed as escorts. So how about you rethink your value while in solitary? Take them away. Well, well, what do you know? Pilots made it back to base alive. Treat them well and feed them plenty. After all, we have to get a favorable report out of them. I've spent enough of my time being the commander of some worthless penal unit. I had a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face, like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So, you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow him straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. 
That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was going to keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. Attention! If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. HQ has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable. Stand by at the front. Champ went down crying like a baby. 
I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Well, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I'm gonna blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I see a lot of oil tanks. Boats, all warships, plenty of buildings too. Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation. They don't look like military. You think you look anything like military? Megastorm and Nessa 
2 is about to arrive. Right. Bring out the trucks. Make sure their routes are split. Take every drop of fuel you can carry.
what you want. Have fun with your new friends. How can we be expected to deal with the surface and the air at the same time? Make Trigger, up. hurry up and take care of the enemy. The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. So it looks like we're getting attention from above. If any credit is due, it should come to me. Prisoners deserve nothing. Headquarters is starting to view some of you in the penal unit as a valid military force. Or at least that's what the rumors are saying. But that's bullshit. The only reason you're here is to atone for your crimes by carrying out missions. <laughs> well, you sit on your ass and get medals. You, solitary, now! Okay, on to the briefing. In this mission, you're going into Arusian territory. We know the Arusian Forces communications facility to the north in the Waipolo Mountains is linked to the swarm of drones. Your mission is critical. You will destroy the facility and then weaken those drones. As it's important, the enemy won't go down without a fight. The area is watched over by spy satellites. If discovered, expect AA missiles. Unless you have a death wish, you must use the clouds for cover around the sides and base of the mountains. Use the clouds to hide from their satellites, and you just might have a chance to shake off their missiles. If you do find a missile on your tail, head to the clouds and pray. Let the missile kill you or crash into the rocks. That much freedom I will give. Proceed with your mission now. The enemy is 
watching from above. Stay in or below the clouds to keep hidden. That means no missiles. Even you lot should understand that. Talk about an enclosed space. What's more enclosed than solitary? Commence operation. Fighters, respond. Clouds. 
Get out of the enemy's sight. Ah, uh, and then what? How do they know? Information regarding IFFs is top secret. There's no way they can make a fake. This is close combat. I don't know who's on whose team.
Hostile incoming. It's a Helios again. I can take a missile or two, no problem. Accident. It got out of control. Return to base. Son of a bitch! The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. Hold on, Count. It looks like your kill numbers are going up every day. You know what happens by giving false reports. Anyway, you other pilots should learn from him. Huh?